In this problem, Christy has dog treats shaped like the figures below. She wants to break each dog treat on the dotted line. Draw a large X on the dog treat that will be broken in two trapezoids. So here our shapes are, right? All these shapes are dog biscuits, and these dotted lines are where we're going to break the biscuits perfectly along these lines. And the goal is to find out which of them are trapezoid. Well, um, and then another question they ask here is, how many angles does a trapezoid have? Well, what is a trapezoid anyway? A trape trapezoid has four edges or sides, just like a rectangle or square. And um, it has two pairs, right? Excuse me, it has one pair, we'll say one pair, of parallel right lines. So for example, here, this is a quadrilateral. Why? Well, we have one, two, three, four sides. And this line and this line are parallel. That means they'll never hit. Notice the other two lines are not. I mean, they do stop in the shape, but if we extend them, they would cross. But with the red lines, even if we extend them in both directions, they'll never actually hit each other. That's because they're parallel. So here I see a similar shape in the first one, right? Because it forms a trapezoid here and a trapezoid here. In the triangle, we fold that in half, right? We have two triangles. So that one's out. Here, right, we have more than two sets of parallel lines, so I wouldn't call it a trapezoid. Here, right, there are sets of parallel lines, right, but again, this is not a trapezoid because it has more than four sides. So this is not a trapezoid. In fact, the only one I find here as being a trapezoid is this one right here. And for how many angles does a trapezoid have? Well, it should have four angles because it has two pairs of side, sides. And every two sides forms a new angle. So it has four angles altogether. All right, thanks.